This is HowToTrapBeavers.com. I'm Chris Pope, and in this segment we're going to go through the very basics of setting a foothold trap for beavers. So what we've got here is a number five bridger, and just from the beginning, just even setting it, you depress the levers. These are your levers here. That's what your springs go to. You depress them, and the jaws will open. This is your dog. So that's what holds the jaws in place. That's what holds the jaws down and holds the trap set. And then this is your pan, and that's what fires the trap. So the dog locks into place over the jaws. These are your jaws onto the pan. And then when the pan's depressed, the dog comes loose and the trap fires. So I'll set it and, and uh, give you a little more. Now, the, the easiest way to set a, a, kind of a foothold is to use the insides of your palms. And, so, and that allows you to still have your thumbs and your fingers available. So what you'll do, set the trap on a firm surface, find something solid to get a, a start on. You're going to press the levers down and start to open your jaws. Your jaws will give you leverage, and then on a big trap like this, when it's four coiled, a lot of times it's real easy to use your a knee or anything you can to get some leverage. Then you bend your dog over the jaw and lock your pan in place, and that sets the trap. So again, you got your your levers. And that's what your springs are attached to. That's what powers the trap. There's your springs, your coil springs, obviously. The jaws, the dog, and the pan. And the pan, when that's depressed, that fires the trap. And when you're setting for beavers, um, you know, beavers have a large back foot. So anytime there's a chance, either you're targeting a back foot catch specifically, or there's a chance that you can have a back foot catch, I set my trap where the beaver crosses between the jaws and that way with the large back foot if you were to set it like this and the beaver had part of his foot on one of the jaws when the trap fires it may throw his foot off and you may miss the catch. So if you set it like this where he crosses between here there's a lot you know the jaw spreads wider and you've got a little bit more likelihood that if he steps in there his foot is not going to get thrown off. If you're going for a front foot catch, it's, it's, you can actually get away with a, a smaller trap and it's not as crucial, but um, I like these bigger traps and, and I even, even if I think that I'm going for a front foot catch, I like to set just in case of a back foot catch anyway. And then, when you get ready to set, the good thing about these, these large traps is your boot is a lot of times about the right size, so if you need a a shelf or something to set the trap on, you can use your boot to kick out a, kick out a spot to set the trap. With a back foot catch, you generally want to go 18 to 24 inches away from the dam or the bank, wherever you're setting, whatever um, you're setting on, and you're going to want to go deeper too. You're going to want to go probably at least 16 to 18 inches deep. With a front foot catch, you can go a lot closer, you know, and a lot shallower. You may may only go 10 to 12 inches back and three to four inches deep because they'll put their front feet down a lot sooner than they'll put their back feet down. So in this situation, before you set it, the thing about these beavers is they have a, a nipple on the dog that acts kind of like a night latch. So you know when you, when you press your pan down to get it level, you can feel it break a little bit. It breaks over that nipple and then you know that that's ready to go. You want to be very cautious about getting your hands anywhere inside. When you're adjusting your pan, always come under the loose jaw and you can adjust it that way. That way if it fires, there's no danger of you getting caught. It's not going to hurt you if you get, it will hurt you, but it ain't going to break any bones if you get caught. But these are some big traps and I try to use a lot of caution when I'm setting them. So like I said, then I'm going about two feet back and probably about the same distance, maybe 18 inches down. And you want to bed it firmly. And 
wiggle it in place to make sure that it's, it's solid and, uh, and that's all there is to it. Now obviously if you were making a, an actual set, you would either have it anchored off to a, gr a drowning wire or a drowning rod. That's, that's crucial. You got to make sure you anchor your traps. If you don't anchor them, then you're going to lose your catch if you catch anything. But that's uh, that's pretty much the gist of it. It's, it's real easy to set. And footholds for beavers are extremely effective.